Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now at 17 years old, Umpile took it upon herself to tell her own story on her own terms. Now she gained mass acclaim for her writing on black womanhood, joy, healing, and of course, Africanness. Her storytelling has become described as breathtakingly raw, honest, and to the core of the issue. To quote the woman herself, she writes, there is a danger in letting people misuse your name. Uh, if you are a fire, do not answer when they call you a spark. Oh, that is, that's very touching and that's very true. Definitely answer to your name. Welcome to the Loft on Thank you so much, Vanessa. Now, Ooh. it seems to <laughs> yeah, woo indeed, girl, because we are about mm. to like go into the core and the crux of your work. We see you as part of the generation of writers that have gained such great digital success. I mean, which we're so thankful for. Mm. But take it back to the beginning. Take it back to when you first got that love and you were like, no, mm. I'm a storyteller at the core. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much. Uh, as a child, I was always writing stories. Like I had stories for all my dolls. I was just that kid who would talk forever. Mm -hmm. And then um, I would spend such a long time journaling. And then eventually I realized, um, like probably around 17, that writing is actually very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time I'd moved to the States and I started writing because I felt like being a black woman there was such an oddity. You know, coming from Malawi, coming from my upbringing, I realized that I can actually use this writing tool to heal myself a little yeah. bit and then it took a while to start sharing online though so <laughs> but you when you did take that step and you did decide to write down mm -hmm. your own prose I mean you were saying that you just had troubles mm -hmm. in the way you were perceived not only as a Malawian born lady mm -hmm. but as a woman too and then you were like uh-uh it's mm -hmm. important for me to kind of write my own path why so well, because I would sit in classes and I'd be the only person who looked like myself. Oh. So all the questions that were uh, toward, that had something to do with Africa were always like towards me. It would be the answer, you know? Um, and <laughs> <laughs> the comments were just always so wild and the questions. And I thought there was a lot of ignorance there and there were a lot of people who were willing and interested in learning. And, um, and I thought being a black woman is something worth celebrating. Why don't I just write it down? And then eventually I started sharing it because I was like, Yes, I feel like this today. Um, I feel very sad and low and feel like I'm an oddity to these people. Mm -hmm. And then I write because I want to celebrate myself. But maybe someone else out there is also going through that. Absolutely. And that's kind of the process. And that process has definitely brought so much healing, not only to individuals, but I think across the globe, a lot of mm -hmm. people can identify with your work and your words. Uh, specifically, we see it now in our country where we want to celebrate our womanness. We want to celebrate our Africanness. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it seems to be going and steered itself in a different way. Mm. I know you've got this incredible poem called Usiswami. What is it about? Well, I was talking earlier about the fact that I wrote this poem for my latest book, A Fire Like You. And living in South Africa since October, I just realized every single day I'm retweeting and retweeting uh, these faces of all these beautiful souls, these bl uh, black women who are missing. And I thought, let me write a poem that just expresses how we feel about them. We're missing them. They are so important and sometimes the news doesn't make it seem that way and uh, people go missing, missing for months and we never hear about them again. And Absolutely. this whole thing with um, Uyunene's murder has really just touched me and I, on a, on a different level, I've been crying for three days and Relatable. I've been crying with so many other people yeah. and I realized, let me share this, and if words are healing, if my words can do something for someone, maybe I could just share it and say, I'm here for you. I can yeah. give you that little hug with my work. Absolutely. Because often we don't feel celebrated and there's so much violence towards us and oh, it just breaks my heart. So that's kind Absolutely. of... Absolutely. Mm. I mean, it's very important and I feel like a lot of people at home can identify mm. with that broken heart. But what we want to do is kind of mold and mend those hearts, bring it mm. back together. It's all about unity at the end of the mm. day. And I feel like if we all are opposing each other, men versus women, South African versus foreign, it, mm. it, it, it just continues to make that divide even bigger. Mm. But I thank you so much for bringing it together, mm. not only with your words, but obviously being an activist, being so strong and standing by what you believe in. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you so much for having me.